we've got a startling admission from the head of the CDC that the agency has made serious mistakes during this COVID pandemic, which has killed more than a million Americans. The U.S. has by far the highest COVID death toll in the world. Dr. Rochelle Walensky is now calling for fundamental change to restore the public's trust as now monkeypox spreads and COVID numbers remain high in some places in the country. She Number one, baby. 13,000 cases, baby. Number one for monkeypox. She spoke to our Dr. John LaPook in an exclusive TV interview last night. Was the agency up to the task of handling this pandemic? I think our public health infrastructure in the country was not up to the task of handling this pandemic. We have Dr. Rochelle Walensky is vowing to revamp the CDC after its response to COVID-19. We made some pretty public mistakes and we need to own them. This admission came in. <laughs> it's going to be real funny when her admission is that we didn't open up the country sooner. They're like, yeah, we, we should have just never done anything. After the CDC received the findings of an external review she ordered of the agency. The CDC says the review found the agency's COVID guidance was confusing and overwhelming. Why did you go ahead and commission this external review? You know, I think it's really important to understand the great work of this agency. This, for the record, this came one week after they said you shouldn't test kids in school anymore. Understand where the agency is moving towards with respect to COVID guidelines. This external, this external investigation's findings came one week after the CDC basically said, hey, if you're a kid and you have COVID, like, fuck it, YOLO. But also to admit to areas where we needed to improve. We owe that to the American people. The CDC says its new objectives are to share scientific findings and data faster, translate the science into practical, easy-to-understand policy, and develop what Dr. Walensky called special forces to fight future pandemics. We do now special have forces! an agency that has intense scientific expertise at almost every area of public health, which is a real gift. They're making the CDC militant. They're going to come in and vaccinate my dick to make sure it's a gay dick. I knew it. I knew it. And what we really need to do is raise those folks outside of their silos. Do you think they're up to the task of now changing their whole culture and thinking of themselves more like special forces that can be deployed wherever they're needed? I have no doubt that they're up to the task. Many say it can't come soon enough as monkeypox cases spike in the U.S. Last week, the FDA authorized a plan to stretch out the nation's limited supply of monkeypox vaccines by offering a way of administering shots at one-fifth the dose while eliciting a similar immune response. Do you think the criticism that the CDC has been moving too slowly in dealing with the monkeypox outbreak, those criticisms are valid? We at CDC still have not seen all the immunization data um, that we need to be able to see in order to mobilize vaccinations across this country. Part of those challenges are similar to some of the challenges that we had with COVID-19, that we don't have full line of sight on all the data that we need in order to make real-time decisions. Dr. Walensky says it remains a global fight to get monkeypox under control. We always have the possibility of receding if we don't have it contained around the world. Back to the old statement, no one is safe until everyone is safe. For CBS Mornings, I'm Dr. John LaPook. Landmark lawsuit. 87,000 new Fauci's are being armed. They're coming for all the anti-vaxxers. I still kind of don't understand what they mean by this. Like, what direction are they going with? Are they going in the direction of the CDC being like, you know, more chill? Or are they going in the direction of the CDC being more aggressive? It's just PR bullshit. Yeah, we uh we went and did an external we went and conducted an external review with uh Pinkerton Goldman Sachs uh Incorporated to find out that the 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 Visa MasterCard Pinkerton Goldman Sachs Incorporated review that was sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce decided that the CDC needs militant agents in an effort to uh in an effort to ensure the the chronic joblessness in this country. So the CDC is now going to come knocking down your door if you don't go to work because you have a little, uh, you know, ouchy boo-boo. They'll break your door down and force you to go to work at gunpoint because people need to get their fucking Slurpees, okay? And those Slurpees aren't going to make themselves, bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you test positive for COVID? If you don't go to fucking work tomorrow, I'm coming to your house with the National Guard. Biden admin is also going to stop buying COVID-19 vaccines, treatments, and tests as early as this fall. Fuck yeah, baby. Because cleaning teeth with a folded piece of paper like a true Turk dad, mashallah. You're, yeah, exactly. They're trying to turn us into autistic gay blue-haired liberals by forcing vaccines in our asses. Oh, yeah. Because it can go either way. Either they're uh, they're doing a task force to like forcibly inoculate everyone with the with the gay autism vaccine, or they're doing a task force to ensure that like uh, if you get sick, you have to go to work. Actually, it's better if you go to work when you're sick. If you don't go to work, you go to jail. <laughs>